right, so Coach Anthony here, uh, going ahead and uh, showing you another video. Uh, today's topic is going to be short side versus far side. Okay, so if we take a look right now, uh, we got a goalie here. He's doing what I like to call a half moon drill. I have uh, about five pucks starting at the middle of, of, uh, of the center at the ice here, and then slowly branching off around like the shape of a moon, so like a half circle here. Uh, and the goalie's job is to... Go ahead, pivot, square up, and then find angle, then adjust depth depending on, on which puck has sees more net. So for this drill, he's just going back and forth to each puck if we take a look. Now, if we take a look here, notice how our angle's off. So right now he's going from he went from high to low. And his push wasn't big enough, so now we're exposing what I like to call short side. So this is where the lesson is going to begin in your eyes. Okay, so first off, we want to understand what short side and far side are. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pause the video here. And you want to focus in on this puck. Okay, focus on this puck. Now, which post is closer to this puck? Left post or right post take a look left post is definitely closer okay and that right post is definitely farther away so what we realize now is the left post would be our short side okay and now our far side would be the right post okay so that's short side versus far side now this is from the shooter's perspective. What we want to start to understand from the goalie side of things is that if we give up this shot, if we give up short side in our positioning consistently, we're going to get beat short side. Okay, There's, there's two ways a goalie should never get scored on. Five hole and short side. No short side goals, no five hole goals. Okay, So right now, if we're approaching pucks like this and we're going to be in position like this for pucks, we're going to get beat a lot in our short side. So in a situation like this, a goalie might think he's got a bad blocker and he keeps missing everything, when in reality it's his positioning and not his blocker hand. So now he adjusts, takes away that net. See that big difference there? Okay, now he's on angle. Okay, taking away short side, giving us the far side of the net, making sure that he's closing this shoulder and squaring up that left toe so we take away the right side of the net and we're in proper positioning. So that's short side versus far side. We're going to go ahead and show a couple videos here of a drill that are going to help you get comfortable for the for you and the goalie in regards to positioning. All right, so here's a drill in regards to a short side versus far side and making sure we get goalies to understand that we want to hold that short side as long as we can and, and let the puck get to the middle of the ice first and then push into it. So there's a moment here when, when the puck goes from what I like to call good ice if we take a look at the face-off dot here, anything on the left side is bad ice. It's a bad angle. You don't see much net. It's it's very small there. And then we understand here it goes from 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 bad from dead ice again, like I like to call it, to good ice. So the blue is the good ice. So if we take a look at the at the circle here at the dot, anything outside the dot to the left is bad ice. Anything inside the dot to the right is good ice. Okay. And we want to understand that as goalies. So what's going to happen here is, is when the puck goes from good ice, from when the puck goes from bad ice to good ice, we got to understand we don't want to move much. Less is more in this situation. So if we keep shuffling and keep pushing to stay square, we're going to be in trouble. And by the time the puck gets to here, we're going to be ahead and the goalie is going to be here giving up short side. Okay, so what we want to focus on in this drill is making sure that we understand we want to hold short side, hold short side. Notice how it's barely anything there. He's holding it. We got a lefty coming in. So the puck was leading. Now the puck is dragging and the goalie notices this. Notice how he doesn't stay pushing forward. He stops his movement. Notice that the puck drops back behind the shooter because now the lefty's pulling it. He stays square. At this point now, for goalies, we really want to make sure we wait for the puck to go from, from center, from the center of our chest, 
Now we got to wait for it to get to our left shoulder. If we keep pushing and if we if we keep pushing and we don't pause there, we're going to end up being ahead on the puck exposing short side. So what Jay-Z does is he notices, okay, now the puck is getting the good ice. When the puck goes from dead ice to good ice, I need to make sure I understand I have to wait for it to get to my left shoulder. Once it gets to my left shoulder and the puck leads, now I can push into it and square up. Great execution here by Jay-Z, holding his short side post, making sure the shooter shoots far side. Okay, so now we know what to practice, holding short side, going through far side, boom, got it. Okay, one more time, let's watch it through here. Let's watch both reps. Okay, full speed. Taps his post, knows where his net is, understands his positioning, far shoulder, go ahead, push into it, boom, great execution. Taps his post, resets for the next drill. The most important thing he's doing is this last part right here. He's going in, finding his post, resetting for the next part of the drill, and that's the key, right here, most important part. Tap, 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 reset tap. That's your short side versus far side. Talk soon.